Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a really cool old Zippo Slim lighter. This one with multicolor advertising for Albert Graham Construction Company. Custom building. It says ME2513 38 I believe a little hard to see and it says Oklahoma City this slider is I believe a 1962 the dots are a little bit hard to decipher because those on the left at first blush appeared to be maybe a dot and then a scuff but in reality I believe that's two on the left one on the right the most inward dot on the left right here appears to be shallow on many of these 1962 Zippo Slim sliders so that's what I'm going with that I'm sure that if Jen Kim or Mary O'Bear or one of the other Zippo experts is tuning in that they will let me know whether or not that date code is correct or not. I'm going with 1962 and we'll see whether or not you guys correct me. So the advertisement here is I believe a home which looks like it has some brown paint filling the engraving for the home then some green for the grass and the trees there is red paint where it says Albert Graham Construction Company and then dark I believe black paint for where it says custom building then I think that is the phone number ME25138 we've had a conversation about these types of phone numbers before with Jin Kim and he is uh, attempting to put together a database and decipher what some of those numbers might mean you also see a goldish tone in the circular kind of embossment here over the house. Looks like a couple of adults and a child. It says medallion something. Live better. Medallion made live better electrically. Very hard to see that, but I believe that's what that says. Medallion made live better electrically. Now, what I don't know is if that goldish or bronzish tone is color or if that is just the brass in the background. From this perspective, it sort of looks like color, which if that is the case, I believe that would make this graphic a five color graphic. The black and red of the text, the brown and green of the home, and then the gold or bronze tone of the embossment there over the edge of the house. This lighter shows plenty of scuffs, scratches. I picked this up, uh, probably dings, definitely dings. I don't really think at this point that this will be a lighter that I attempt to sell. Probably more likely one that I keep, maybe use, maybe have a little project or two on. It 
lights right up, the flint tube was clear, however, the wick is in pretty gnarly shape, and you can see that down inside that chimney, how dark and tattered that wick is. When we pull the insert, which I believe is the correct insert for this case, it has a hollow rivet, it is marked vertically, made in Zippo USA, PAT 2517191 with the registered symbol. You do see some wear scratches to the insert. The felt pad has taken some pretty good damage and is pretty dirty on the outside, which kind of has me toying with the idea, especially if I'm going to keep this lighter in my collection for the time being, of going ahead and turning the wick around and also turning this felt pad around so that at least it looks better. If I had a replacement felt pad, I would use it because that one is obviously torn, damaged to some degree. The insert is a little bit loose in the case. Most slims seem to be a little bit tighter than that to me, but not bad. The hinge is a little loose and just from looking at it I think that that might be tightened up by putting a replacement pin in that hinge because it looks like the hinge is still being held very solid by the welds that are keeping it attached to the case and the lid. Either way, pretty clean case, has been cleaned up, had carbon, plenty of other buildup in there, but overall, especially for one that is likely to be a user for me, the blemishes do not bother me. The fact that the cam spring is weak bothers me a little bit so maybe we will have a project that we can deal with that as well i wonder if those kits they sell on amazon where they sell you the pin and also replacement rivets and cam springs whether or not those will fit the slim zippos or whether or not they make a separate part for the Slim Zippo. Either way, I may have to get into that, look into it, see what kind of parts we might be able to come up with. And if those aftermarket parts aren't good enough to try to fix it, then maybe we will just attempt to fix it with better original parts or locate a more suitable correct insert a more functionally suitable like i said that's just a very weak cam spring and it's not going to hold the lid as you would hope it would especially for a lighter that you're going to be carrying around in your pocket if i make this one of my edcs like i think i probably will i really like the Oklahoma City graphic, the multicolor, and it's something that I can't mess up too much because it's already got some damage. I could definitely lose some more paint, I suppose. It's got some scratches out here on the edge, so it's got plenty of wear. Still a decent lighter that you will probably see in my EDC rotation soon. Until next time.